Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Hoops Basketball. Five, which is a pretty recent release too. We've been selling these out pretty quickly. Five box, random team break number eight. No vet common ship. These guys do though. Right there. I'm sure everyone read that in their item descriptions. Thanks everyone for getting in right here. Appreciate it. All teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a two, five times for names and teams. One, two, three, four. And fifth and final time. After five, we've got Igor down to Jeremy, 33. Three and a two, five times for the teams. Two, three, four. And fifth and final time. After five, we've got the Phoenix Suns down to the Trailblazers. All right, so Igor with the Suns, Miguel with the Grizzlies, William with the Raptors, Patrick Cologne with the Charlotte Hornets, Igor with the Pelicans, Luis with the Hawks, uh, Cameron with the Cavs, Daniel with the Kings, Jarrell with the Clippers, Alexander with the Mavs, Igor with the Bucks, Thomas with the Wolves, Igor with the 76ers, Luis with the Spurs, Jason with the Celtics, Miguel with the Wizards, Alexander with the Nets, John with the Rockets and my Lakers, Luis with the Warriors. Nice. Rick with the Magic, John with the Nuggets, John Ryder with the Jazz, Anthony with the Bulls, Miguel with the Pistons, Igor with the Pacers, Luis with the Thunder, Miguel with the Knicks, Cameron, Heat, Jeremy, Trailblazers. I'm going to put all these teams on one list, on one screen right here, sort by column B, and I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go run and grab the boxes, and uh, maybe there'll be some trades by the time I come back as well. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, we got the video unpaused. Welcome back. There was a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, there were no deals done in random team number eight. Big thanks, everybody, for getting into the action. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, no hat today. Got to let the, let the scout breathe a little bit today. All right, folks, so here on the Saturday, Saturday the 6th, the night before the Super Bowl, we do have a little bit of NBA action happening right now. We've got on NBA TV, we have Nuggets at Kings. Kings are up 99-88. Halliburton having a solid game. Knicks beat the Trailblazers 110-99. Let's uh, let's see how the rookies did in that game, especially in New York. Well, Julius Randle's continued to have a nice season. He got he had 22 and 11 tonight, plus four assists, plus minus of 11. It's pretty good, plus 11. R.J. Barrett continuing his uh, his strong second year. Dust off your R.J. Barrett rookie cards. 18 points, seven rebounds, three assists, plus minus of four. Not bad. Quickly. Manuel quickly is a guy we're looking for here. 12 points in, in 13 minutes. 12 points in 13 minutes, a couple rebounds, three assists, a steal. It's not bad for 13 minutes of work. Obi Toppin only put in nine minutes of work, but he in that nine minutes he had a couple points and a few rebounds. So good. So I, I, like, I like what's happening out there in New York and in a win too, 110 to 99. Blazers were a little shorthanded, though. I think that's the only final of the day, right? And then we got a lot of basketball coming up today, folks. Bulls are at the Magic. Mets are at Phil in Philadelphia. Joel Embiid game time decision. Raptors are at the Hawks. Bucks are at Cavs. Spurs at Rockets. Timberwolves at Thunder. On ABC. Oh, this is a national game right here. Warriors at Mavericks. Steph Curry, Luka Doncic. Grizzlies are at Pelicans. Ja Morant versus... I wish that was televised nationally. Ja Morant versus uh, uh, Zion. Pelicans are uh, minus one and a half. And then on my local 
Lakers network, we'll see Pistons at Lakers. Lakers are double digit faves, minus 13. So there you go. That's, a, that's our hoops day for Saturday, the 6th of February, the night before the Super Bowl. Jeremy33 saying Knicks will trade Randall and RJ for picks that will amount to nothing. That would be brutal. I think they should trade Randall, though. But, but yeah, I think everyone's just kind of waiting for the, for the shoe to drop, right? The other shoe, that is. All right. Here's what we got uh, for this hoops break. First of all, vet commons don't ship, right? So Marvin Bagley's not going to ship. Obviously, inserts like this will ship. And all rookie cards, right, will be at least sleeved. So the whole slate of rookies in this set will be sleeved. And then um, probably like half of them are going to be top loaded. And I'm going to catch some of the some of the more top names right away to top load. But before everything shipped out or sorted and shipped out, everything will be at least sleeved. There's OB Toppin right here. So Jer Jeremy, you're saying keep Randall and bring an all-star in to play with him? There's Tyrese Maxey. I feel like Randall's like a slightly older than those than like the, the RJ Barrett, the quickly Toppin crew, right? I feel like that's the core you have to build around. Move Randall for some more uh, Sixers. That's for Igor, by the way. Obi Toppin will go to Miguel. I feel like you build around that this core, maybe, and then get just add more picks. But then, do you, do you trust the Knicks with those picks? Obviously, second year John Morant and Zion will also ship. There's definitely some value there. I guess I'm of the opinion that you're kind of selling high on Julius Randle. Aaron Baines, Purple Parallel, Jalen Smith. People like the Denia Vija too. Miguel with the Wizards, the, the Israeli. I think him along with like LaMelo I feel like have gained some benefits from uh, from playing professionally overseas. I think that helps. There's Julius Randle right there. Yeah, he is playing good hoops though. Yeah, maybe you could pair him with a with an with an all star. Who, who do you move? You move RJ instead. You move someone else. What happens if you pair him with an all star? I mean, it's kind of hard to move this guy. There's Draymond to 199. There's James Weissman, uh, who we'll see in the national game later tonight. Warriors at Mavs. We'll see what James Weissman can do. Kelly Obrey Jr. had, what, 40 points the other night? If Obrey Jr. keeps that momentum going, I think. Might have to, might have to dust off all of those Kelly Oubre Jr. cards that I've been collecting dust. There you go. Uh, no, RJ's is not ship. If you look on the description, Miguel, it says uh, the, no vet commons ship except for Luca, LeBron, Giannis, Zion, and Ja. That's numbered right there. That's to one ninety nine. Isaac Coro, parallel. Uh, 
And there's Tyrese Halliburton. His Sacramento Kings are leading 102 to uh, 96. And Halliburton, what do you? I think he has double-digit points already. Yeah, he's got 18 points over 31 minutes, three for six from three, four rebounds, five assists, two steals, a block. He's got a plus-minus of plus 13. Sacramento Kings. That'll be for Daniel. Nice. Um, I think there are one of ones in hoops. Jeremy, is that what you're asking? Is that what I'm trying to decipher there? One of one hoops? Question mark. There's Lamelo Ball, who, according to Vegas, at least maybe a few days ago, is still still a favorite for the Rookie of the Year, Patrick Cologne. I wonder when Pogs will be in again, Thomas is asking. I, I wonder. There, I feel like there has to be a Pog revival at some point. There's Will Barton to 199. There's Emmanuel Quickly and number one overall pick, Anthony Edwards. And we've got our second autograph, Desmond Mason for Seattle. Seattle stuff, of course, goes to OKC Luis with that one. All right, Emmanuel quickly will go to Miguel and the Knicks. He's playing pretty well. Anthony Edwards for Thomas and the Timberwolves. He's getting a lot of minutes, too. He's pretty good. Robert Grease has got pogs. When are they going to be in again? Anthony Edwards will go to Thomas and the T Wolves. Will Barton to 199 will go to Denver. That'll be for John. All right, first box in the books. Second box on the way. <laughs> nice, Jeremy. You have a Desmond Mason youth jersey for his son, Mason. It's pretty good. You know, Jerry says Mason on the back. S Supersonics, Desmond Mason? Oh, Jokic just 40 points, 8 rebounds, and 12 assists. Woo! They're still down by like six points, though, Denver. For the Sonics, nice. Oh, Jeremy, we were, we were talking last night. Maybe you've got some thoughts on this. So, hockey has 32 teams. And the NFL obviously has 32 teams. And I think the NBA and baseball has been thinking about 32 teams for a long time. So, for the NBA... What what should the next two, where should the next two teams be? I think Seattle is an obvious one, right? So if we agree on that, then where would where would the thirty second team where would that city go? Everyone can weigh in on this. But I think Adam Silver has kind of both Adam Silver and and, and Rob Manfred for Major League Baseball have both kind of started. To think, uh, you know, is there going to be the 31st and 32nd team somewhere? We want to have those 32 teams. Luis is Vegas? Actually, yeah. Basketball, Seattle and Vegas. Then there, there, ha there'd have to be definitely some re reconfiguring of uh, of di divisions, conferences. Newark, New Jersey. I don't think that's going to happen, right? With 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 the Knicks, Brooklyn, and and Philadelphia all kind of in that area. Can that market sustain another basketball team? Alright, next box. 
Larry saying Jokic MVP, but man, we can't beat the Lakers. We gotta try to beat the Kings here too. They're they're up 108.99 with two two fifteen left in the game. There's quickly again for Miguel and the Knicks. I don't know, Vegas, I guess Vegas would be a pretty good spot. They already got a hockey team there. They got the football team there, so I guess NBA would probably want to have a presence in there. There's Anthony Edwards. But I wonder if, uh, you know, with this Jordan Nwora, rookie ink autograph for the Bucks. Igor with that one. I wonder if with the their their past of refs gambling on games, if they might not be too comfortable with with the NBA in Vegas just yet. But it makes sense. Sorry, already hockey. That goes to Thomas. I saw LeBron play his jersey. His jersey? Sorry, Jerry. I'm not. I cannot decipher that right now. Obi Toppin for the Knicks. It's going to be in my eye. True Holiday to 199. Denny Avija again. That'll be for Miguel and the Wizards. Remember, all rookie cards will ship. I'm going to try to catch a few of the top names and some names that I like. We'll top load those immediately just for. Who knows? I mean, at this point, it's still early in the season. It could be a lot of young players like Okongu for Luis and the Hawks. He could emerge. I had some, we had some Hawks fans in last night saying. I wish they could tr trade Clint Capella and just keep playing in Kongu the entire time. See what they got in him. It's James Wiseman right here for the Golden State Warriors. That will be for Luis. Jimmy Butler, City Edition. These City Edition cards are pretty sharp. Those, of course, will ship. A couple more rookie cards. Skyler Mays, Peyton Pritchard. Patrick Williams, Devin Vassell, Nico Mannion, Grant Miller, and there's Tyrese Halliburton. Oh, all right on cue, they called out his name. Isaac Okoro, nice. And LaMelo. Tyrese Halliburton, pull up three. Ooh. And there's Daniel House Jr. Hot signatures going to the Houston Rockets, John Deneen. 
Halburn's got 24 now. There he is, 24, four rebounds, five assists, two steals, and a block. Pretty good. I think Halliburton won a Rookie of the Month in this Jan what, January, December, and I think Lamelo won one recently too. So these uh, these two guys are probably your leading candidates for uh, for Rookie of the Year. There's a number to Coro, 73 out of 99. That is for Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. Cameron with the numbered rookie card. All right, next box. He's, he's 8 for 12 from the field, too. That's a, that's a pretty efficient 24 points for Tyrese. Less than a minute left in the game, 55 seconds. Sacramento 112, Denver 104. Denver with the ball. Jokic, three, nails it. Wow. Aaron Fox is pretty good too. The Sacramento team could be could be scary. It could be scary this year, but you give like Halliburton another year to marinate this season to kind of get his rookie season out of the way. De'Aaron Fox takes another step forward. Man. Marvin Bagley can stay healthy. And then they got guys like, still have guys like Buddy Heald is solid, Harrison Barnes. Got Whiteside on that team. Corey Joseph can gobble up some minutes here. Doug Christie's on the Kings basketball broadcast. There's Jokic right there. He's pretty good. What a shot by Jokic. He's just like tumbling backwards. Gets the three-pointer off the glass. There's Anthony Edwards, Timberwolves, Thomas Gilmore. Here's another quickly for Miguel and the Knicks. And there's Vernon Carey Jr., Rookie Inc. For the Hornets, Charlotte. That's going to go to Pat Cologne. 48 points for Jokic. OB 
Obi Toppin, Tyrese Maxey, Desmond Brain. Brain. And Julius Randle playing some good basketball out of 99. He's got 50 now. All right, there's Weissman right here for the Warriors. Luis, all those Weissmans will add up. Purple parallel for the Bucks. That'll be for Igor. Save an RJ Bear for you. Here we go. Derek Rose to 199. There's Halliburton again. Excellent game for him tonight. And we've got for the Cavs, hot signatures, Craig Elo. Cleveland, this is for you. Cameron, that one. Daniel with the Tyrese Halliburton. Right, shot on Elo. That Elo. Infamous. Here is Robert Woodard, the second, and LaMelo Ball at the bottom. Charlotte. Patrick. And it's a final, 119-114, Sacramento wins. Good win for them. All right, two boxes to go, ladies. Let me clear, clear my, make myself a little room here. Two boxes to go. Good luck. Oh, I guess they, I guess they took a, a point away from Halliburton for some reason. Maybe a three that was a two. But anyway, Tyrese Halliburton, 23 points. Four rebounds. Four defensive rebounds. All, all four of them were defensive rebounds. Six assists. Two steals. A block. No turnovers. Plus 10 on the plus, uh, the plus minus. Nick will cost what auto card is better, hot signature or rookie ink? Uh, oh, the, like the hot rookie signatures versus rookie ink, you mean? I don't know, actually. I would I would think rookie ink? Hot, hot rookie signature sounds like the insert autograph. Jokic, 50, and unfortunately, a losing effort for him, but 50 points, 
8 rebounds, 12 assists, a steal, a few blocks, only one turnover. But no one else helping him out. I think the next highest scorer was, was Paul Millsap with 14 points. I guess we're missing a couple guys. Michael Porter Jr., I mean, we, need, we need him to do a little bit better here. Played 34 minutes, only managed 8 points. 9 rebounds, though. No assists, no steals, a few blocks, but we know Michael Porter Jr. can do better than that. Rick Serrano, the Saturday is going well. Thanks for asking. Can't wait for tomorrow. We got the Super Bowl mixer, our Super Bowl mixer in the morning, the Super Bowl itself. I wonder how many teams regret not drafting Tyrese Halliburton. I'll tell you how many. Where was he where was he drafted? He was drafted 12th overall. So who, who drafted point guards? I guess Charlotte doesn't mind. They got Lamelo. Maybe the Pistons, who drafted Killian Hayes over Tyrese. And maybe, yeah, maybe some other teams too. I guess maybe teams who took... To guard, I don't know if Minnesota's too disappointed. They got Anthony Edwards out of the shooting uh, shooting guard. Maybe maybe Devin Vassell, maybe uh, Spurs took Devin Vassell right ahead of Halliburton. Rick, I did not. I don't think. Yeah, no minutes for Bull Bull. We should. Uh, he seems to still be. Oh, I haven't even ripped open all these packs yet. He still seems to be. Um, he still seems to be garbage time for Bull Bull to get in. I wonder why you would like to see him get like five or ten minutes a game or something like that. I mean, maybe when you're trying to win. The, I mean, even if even in non blowouts, put put him in for five or ten minutes. Give him give him some time here. He got zero. Didn't even enter the game today. What's the point of having him just for depth? I guess, but at that point, I would just send Bol Bol to the G League, have him play games, you know, have him play games, and uh, just develop his game, and just find like some some old veteran, some wily veteran to to be the to be the the depth guy on the bench. I'm not sure if I I don't know what good that does holding a. Uh, Bull Bull on there, especially if you if you argue that he's a raw talent, you know, which he is. Give him some, give him as many minutes as possible. All right, there's Robert Woodard, the second Kings Daniel. I like what uh, I kind of like where Dennis Smith Jr.'s heads at. The other week, Dennis Smith Jr. said, "Hey, can you just send me to the G League? Like, I just want to play. <laughs> you know, let me get some minutes." And so they obliged. And I, I, I kind of like that out of a player. He's just like, listen, I just, I just want to play. So give me some minutes. Let me work on my game. It'd be nice. And I know he's not living the, the NBA life, but it's not like they can go out anywhere in whatever city they're in. <laughs> At least most of the cities are in. Kelly Oubre Jr. had a great night the other night. That's still a Phoenix edition of Cali Obrey Jr., by the way. So that'll go to the Suns. That'll be for Igor. And there's the James Weissman who'll go to Luis and the Golden State Warriors.
All right, so the only other uh, active game right now is Bulls at Magic. And who are our oh Patrick Williams I think is a is a Bulls rookie we're looking for. And in the it was just three minutes left in the first quarter. Patrick Williams already already has five points. Five points, a couple rebounds. There you go, I like that. Any Orlando rookies that we need to look out for? Where did Orlando draft? Cole oh yeah, Cole Anthony. I don't think he's in the game yet. Oh, no, he is. He's got two points over 10 minutes. Two points, a couple rebounds, a few assists. All right, so those, those, are, the, those are the guys we've got to keep, keep an eye on this year. There's another Tyrese Halliburton. He's been playing excellent basketball at this stage of the season. There's LaMelo. He's also been playing some good basketball, too. De'Aaron Fox looks good. The Kings team looks good. Who do you have in this break? Oh, right, you have the magic in this break, so yeah. You're looking for those Cole Anthony's. LaMelo goes to Patrick Cologne and the Hornets, the Tyrese Halliburton, all those Halliburtons going to Daniel Christian. It's Anthony Edwards, Sadiq Bey. I think is doing okay. And Xavier Tillman, rookie to 199. Tyler, no relation to Sadiq, at least from what I heard. And here's a Cole Anthony for Rick Serrano. What if he goes off today? All right, Emmanuel quickly for the Knicks. Miguel, that Cole Anthony goes to Rick. Xavier Tillman for the Grizzlies goes to Miguel. And Anthony Edwards, Thomas Gilmore, Timberwolves. All right, final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. What a goofy situation with Kevin Durant. What? Yeah, what a goofy situation with Kevin Durant. If you were, if, if he was already at risk or whatever, why even have him go into the game for a quarter? You know? Why not just out of an abundance of caution say you're not playing tonight? And then at that point, when he's back in, why just take him out? Why not just cancel the entire game after that if, you know, it just seems a little, I know it's difficult times to keep all this protocol stuff in check. I get that, but. I don't know. That's kind of goofy all around, I guess.
Final box. Good luck, everybody. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. We do have more hoops. We found more hoops on the site, or for the site, so check it out. That's Kevin Durant. A lot, of, a lot of news around him. Nico Mannion, Grant Miller. Rookies, I actually give us a little more space here. There's Tyrese Halliburton again. Robert Woodard, LaMelo Ball. Another LaMelo for Patrick. Tyrese playing some good hoops. Both of these kids playing some good hoops. And we got a rookie, Cassius Winston. And there's a little cracked ice pattern in the background. That looks really sharp. 12 out of 25. Or no, more of a X-Fractor checkerboard kind of pattern. 12 out of 25, Cassius Wilson for Miguel Ramirez and the Washington Wizards. You're a wizard, Miguel. Nice. There's Cassius Winston again. And Emmanuel quickly also for Miguel. Do a quick little recap at the at the end of this box as well. Is your number one overall pick, Anthony Edwards, going to Thomas? Rick, hope so what? Oh, you might be lagging behind a little bit. There's Obi Toppin. I think you might have been saying hope so that Cole Anthony goes off tonight. Make sure you're watching live, everybody. Hit that live button. Make sure it's not grayed out or maybe refresh the app or refresh the page. That'll help. There's a Vija again with Okongu back there. Miguel with the Wizards. And who has Atlanta Luis with the Atlanta Hawks. Got another James Weissman right here. He's always paired with Kira Lewis Jr., looks like. Weissman, Luis, Warriors. We'll see him in action tonight. Do a little scouting on him. And the last bit.
Uh, Cash is Stanley to 25. Skyler Mays, Peyton Pritchard, and Fat Lever for the Denver Nuggets. Hot signatures. For Denver, that will be for John Deneen. And the last bit here. Oh, there's Patrick Williams for the Bulls. He, after t nine minutes... Not bad. Start. Five points, two rebounds. Not too shabby. There he is. Bulls. That's going to go to Anthony. And there's the out of 25 cash of Stanley for Indiana. That'll be for Igor. Yeah, LaMelo is on the box. Was Lonzo on the box for his rookie year? The brother brothers sharing some hoops boxes together. There you have it. All right, folks. Thanks very much. We do have more hoops in the store, uh, and from a fresh case, which is uh, it's pretty awesome. Nice fresh case. Hunt for all of the big name rookies. More autographs. More rookie cards. A lot of these cards can be uh, are probably worth taking a closer look at, seeing if they're gradable. If they grade out really nicely, PSA nine, PSA ten. You know, then you just got to hope that they turn into all perennial all-stars and then you profit. <laughs> Some good value in these already. There you go. And there you have it. That was Random Team Break number 8, 2020-2021 Panini Hoops Basketball. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye.